Hey guys, it's Robin, your independent Scentsy Consultant. Welcome back to What I've Been Warming Wednesday. So today is the day where I go through what I've been warming in my house throughout the last week and give you a warm review of each scent that I've warmed so that you might know or have a better idea of what will work best in your home. So I'll kind of go through room by room here. Um, so first in the bathrooms, I only did one scent in bathrooms this week and I did a cube in each room or in each bathroom. So one cube in each bathroom of Be Fabulous. This one is from the Spring and Summer collection and I just got this in my club because I never got around to getting one of these during the Spring and Summer season. So this was the first time I've warmed this scent and I was really, really surprised and impressed. This one was fantastic, strong, like really strong, lasted a fair amount of time, like quite a while, like days, and really, really good. This one is like a juicy citrus, like it's I want to say like orange and lemon and maybe grapefruit. It's like a fairly tart citrus. Yeah, it's like, it's it's really, really lovely. It's like a very realistic citrus. Like you just broke open like a lemon and an orange. And there's a little bit of that like peel or that like white coating on the outside of the fruit. It's just really, really good. Loved this. I will get more of this. I hope this comes back because this is all I have. So that's a good one. Next in my daughter's room, we did two cubes of pink sugarberry mint. This one is like, I want to say raspberry, kind of smells like aqualina pink sugar a little bit. Um, it's like sugared raspberry with like a teeny tiny tiny bit of mint. So even though mint is in the name, it's not very mint heavy. This one's really really good. This one performs very well too. This one lasts a really long time and it's quite strong. So we do this one for like almost three days, like two and a half days, 24-7. Um, so this one lasts a good amount of time and it's really good and it's a perfect scent for a little girl's room. So it's lovely. Next we did two cubes of rainbows and butterflies. Now this one, I'll put the scent notes below and I'm not even sure what the scent notes are in this yet, but I get like almost some cream and I get fruit, like maybe peach. Definitely cream and like peach. And there might be like maybe some sort of berry there, but it's light. It seems like a fairly light scent in the packaging. Really pretty, very girly, but light. Um, on warm, this one, I don't know what happened, but this one, every time I walked into that room, I was like, oh, it smells like Christmas trees in here. This smells nothing like Christmas trees on cold at all. And then I'm pretty darn sure there's no Christmas trees stuff in the notes. But when I walked into the room, I kept thinking, oh, it smells like Christmas in here. This would be a great scent to melt at Christmas time for her. So I don't know what's going on with that. My nose is apparently haywire with this one. Yeah, I don't know. I don't get that note on cold, but for whatever reason, on warm, I definitely got Christmas trees from this. Um, like a really pretty light tree, not like a super intense pine, but just a really pretty light pine scent, like a sweet pine. Um, yeah, it lasted a long time. It was reasonably strong. We liked this and it is in my club right now and I'll probably keep it there for a bit longer. So there's that one. And last we have Polar Bear Hug. This one is in her room warmer right now. It is on its second day. So tomorrow will be its third day and it's still like moderately strong. Like it's probably gonna not need to be changed tomorrow either. Um, so it's lasting a really good amount of time as well. And this one is just cozy. Like, it smells like, it's got some fresh notes to it. Like it is like a little bit clean laundry-ish or fresh air-ish, fresh air-ish. <laughs> but it also seems to have some kind of like musk or maybe amber to it. What does Scentsy say is in this? Polar bear hug. They say blackberry jam, brown sugar, vanilla, and amber. So blackberry jam, there is sweetness, but I wouldn't say it was like a berry scent. So there's that. Brown sugar, I think I could get. Yeah. And the musk, absolutely. Or sorry, amber. Yeah. And vanilla. So yeah, those make sense. It's a very fresh scent though. So by the notes, it sounds like it would be kind of bakery-ish and it's not. So this is really pretty. Um, it's doing really nicely in her room right now. This one, if you watched my October melting basket, I had put in my melting basket to use for when it snows because it's kind of a festive scent. 
without being like Christmassy. It's just kind of a wintry scent. And that was today. <laughs> it snowed. So this has been in her warmer since yesterday because we knew the snow was coming. So there's that one. Next in our bedroom. Oh, sorry. Next in our bedroom, we did Love Story. This is a Bring Back My Bar and this was in my club. This one is like, I want to say amber and chocolate, like dark chocolate. Yeah. So on cold, this one's just kind of a nice ambery scent with like a little bit of like a very perfumey type of chocolate. Like rather than a bakery type chocolate, this is more of like a perfume note type chocolate. Um, it's nice. On warm, this was really pretty. It was very rich. I could see this being a scent you'd get tired of quickly. However, I really like it. So I have a, in my club, it's in my club. So I get a bar every three months. I think that's a perfect amount of this scent for me. Um, I don't know that I'd want to warm it more than that. It is quite unique. And I think this would be fantastic for like Valentine's Day time. It just smells very like Valentine-ish because it's kind of floral, but also has that chocolate note. It's really nice. I liked it a lot. It was pretty strong, didn't last terribly long. It wasn't a dud performer. Um, it still lasted like a day and a half. Well, maybe 24 hours total in the warmer um, over a couple days. Because that is the only warmer in the house that we do turn off sometimes is the one in our bedroom. So this one lasted no more than 24 hours warming, um, which is not bad. It's just not as good as some, but the scent is really special and unique. So I like that one. Next, I did a mix. So this is a mix I've been dying to try. This was Luna mixed with Cozy Cardigan, one to one. So one cube of each in my bedroom warmer. This was really nice. Luna is a light scent. It's a fairly light performer, light throw, um, like a light sweet floral. And Cozy Cardigan is like suede, amber, and like a rose. And it's really pretty and cozy and kind of just soft. Very feminine, soft, and cozy. It kind of smells like if you sprayed perfume on like a scarf and then like left that scarf in a closet for months and then came out and like just put it on, how that would smell with like just like a little bit of lingering perfume on it. So it kind of reminds me of that. Together, these were really nice. I will say Cozy Cardigan outperformed Luna by quite a lot. So I might do two cubes of Luna next time to one cube of Cozy Cardigan just because Luna kind of drowned pretty quickly in Cozy Cardigan. Um, but I still would do this mix again. This was a really pretty mix. So I would recommend. And last, this is a bar I got in the clearance sale. Um, this is just for you. And this one is, it's a, it's a I wanna say pine, but it's probably fur because it's just for you. And I get berries in here for sure. Like there's definitely a very sweet berry notes in here and it's really pretty. I thought this was a nice bedroom scent because most like pine scents I think are too strong for the bedroom, just in my opinion. This one isn't. This one is like very, it's kind of rounded out nicely by the berry notes in here and the sweetness. It's like sugared pine or sugared fir with like berries so it's very sweet and kind of airy and just it's really nice this is really nicely done so i did two cubes in my bedroom warmer and it was i would say light medium maybe like a three or four it wasn't like undetectable and it was probably like closer to a medium for maybe six hours and then it was more of a light medium for the rest of the warm and it was maybe 20 24 hours total tops like maybe less I got two evenings out of it, so it's 15 hours, so not terribly amazing, um, but it was really nice and I enjoyed it. I do have a couple more bars of this as well, so I'm glad to have those because this is a nice holiday scent for the bedroom. It's hard to find like a festive holiday scent for your bedroom because, I mean, mint is nice, but if you don't feel like mint, some of those scents are very spicy or very bakery or very heavy or rich and this one's kind of just not it's just really nice so this is a good bedroom option i think but it was on the lighter side for sure and for a pine scent in the bedroom i kind of want that to be lighter so i was good with that 
Now onto the open concept. Nope, onto the office, this room right here. So I did my last two cubes of cider mill. This one is like crushed pumpkin, apples, and simmering spices. And this is like one of my favorites for fall. This one's fantastic. It's popular for a reason. It's a good standard like apple cider pumpkin scent. It's fantastic. It performs well. It's strong. It lasts a good amount of time. I would say at least two days. It's really good. Liked it a lot. We'll repurchase this for sure. And the next thing I did in my office was farm stand pumpkin. And this one is one that I just haven't gotten to yet and I wanted to get to this month because when else am I going to warm farm stand pumpkin besides October? And it's a good one. It's very sweet. It's like a sweet pumpkin with some caramel to it without being overly bakery. So it's a really nice like sweet fall scent without being like super bakery and heavy. So it's really nice. And I decided to melt it in here to start with. And I'll probably, I was gonna, I was trying to feel it out to see if it was strong enough for my open layout. And I don't know that it is. I might do the rest of the bar out there anyways, but it won't be strong, I don't think. So in here, it was about a medium. And I left it in here longer than I should have. Um, I would have probably changed it out after two days, but I just kind of lost track of time and I don't come into this particular room very often. So it kind of got left to melt in here for longer than it needed to. And I came in on like the end of day three. <laughs> And I was like, oh my gosh, it smells amazing in here. It smells like curry, like curry. And I was like, we haven't had any like Indian food or anything like that in the house recently. So I don't know, but it was this. And I don't smell it on cold, but a little tiny bit, I can see where it came from. Cause there's a spice note in here that I think is Sensi's chai note. And Sensi's chai note to me does smell like delicious, like curry. From a restaurant and when it's warmed and heated it seems like the rest of it seemed to kind of just die off like the bakery stuff and all that kind of went away after a while but the chai spice smell remained and after it had been warming for a few days it very much smelled like like warm spicy curry like it was delicious but strange <laughs> from like a pumpkin scent so i liked that but it was not what I expected. Um, I will warm the rest of this. I don't know that I'll get it again, but I enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, there's that. <laughs> then in my open layout, I did four cubes of apple and oat. So this one smells so good. It's like brown sugar and like oatmeal. Like, you know, when you like bake like an apple crisp or an apple crumble and you mix like your sugar or not yet yeah, your sugar your oats and like your flour and you mix that all up and then like put it on top of your your fruit and then bake that and the butter all melts and like it gets all crispy and sugary and delicious it smells exactly like that <laughs> so to a tea so it's very much like sweetened cooked apples with that crumb top, like that crumble topping. Top notch, amazing. Strong and long lasting. I love this, I wish I could get more of this. It was very rich, I will say that. If I had more of this and I had like an unlimited supply of it, I would probably try mixing with Johnny Appleseed. Uh, maybe like one cube Johnny to two cubes of this, just to see if that kind of balanced out some of that sweetness, because it is very sweet and rich. It's so good. It's so good. But I will not mix the rest of this bar because this is all I have. And I want one more open layout warm out of this. So I will do that at some point, but I might hang on to this for a while and hope it comes back because this is good. So if you ever see apple and oats and bring back my bar voting, it's really good and a good performer as well. Next, I finished my bar of harvest blessings and I did do this in my open layout. So it was six cubes in four different warmers. So in the warmers on either end of the space I did two and then on the two middle warmers I did one in each so there was that that's how I kind of balance out the, the fragrance and this one's new to the fall and winter catalog and what does Sensi say about this one so they say it is radiant apple spiced pumpkin and smooth oak and yeah it's apple pumpkin and oak there is a really pretty oak note to this the oak in here is beautiful 
It's very smooth, kind of well-rounded. Um, it's a fall scent with oak. So it was nice. It wasn't as long lasting as I maybe expected. Um, it was a one dayer, um, but you know, like 20 hours, 18 hours, somewhere in there. So not bad, just it was a one dayer, it was fine. I don't feel the need to get more of this, but it was really pretty. So if you have this, it's beautiful. Um, I'm not sad that I had it, I enjoyed it. Um, I just don't know that I would get more. I'm, I might get one more bar, but probably not. It's pretty though. It might be one that if it came back next year, I would grab one more bar, but I won't put it in my club or anything. It was nice. Then I finished up, and I was kind of sad to finish this up, my bar of painted leaves. And this one is like fresh air and like trees. It's so good. It's cool. And like the coolness is very cool. Like it's either eucalyptus or mint in here that's kind of lending actual coolness to this. It's so pretty. And it smells like tree bark and leaves and fresh air and just like, this is one of the most like realistic outdoor scents I've smelled. It is beautiful. Like Scentsy knocked it out of the park with this one. I wish it would come back. I wish it would come back so much. Um, it's beautiful. If you ever see this, get your hands on it. If it ever comes back into voting, this is a very good choice to vote for. It was a fantastic performer too. We did like a full like 48 hours of this in the open layout. It was amazing, it was strong. I could have possibly let it go longer, but it was pretty darn light by that point. So after 48 hours, it was ready to be changed. But if you really wanted to, you could have left it go longer. I'm gonna probably save the clamshell just because I don't wanna forget what this smells like. It's that good. So painted leaves. Then I did Scary Good. I finished off one bar and started another one. <laughs> so Scary Good is pumpkin, cinnamon, butterscotch, and vanilla. And it's delicious. And it does have some like different spices. Like I definitely smell ginger in this, but it's not a spicy scent. It's very like pumpkin and sweet and butterscotch. So I do plan to melt this with around the campfire, maybe sometime next week. This one's really good, I love it. And it's also very complimentary to a lot of the other fall scents. So sometimes I'll put like a cube of this in my mini warmer in the kitchen and then have like cider mill or something else going. And it's all very complimentary. So I like this one a lot. And then the thing that's still going in my open layout, even tonight is apple s'mores. So this is another bring back my bar. And this one is, Hard to describe, but it's really, really, really good. So on cold, like in the wax here, I get mostly apple with a little bit of like toasted marshmallow. And not that the marshmallow is smoky toasted, the marshmallow is just like caramelized a little bit. Like it's a little bit golden. It's really nice, delicious. I don't think I get graham crackers or chocolate. So this is just like apples and marshmallow. But on warm, more comes out. On warm, there is kind of more of like a fire note, not to the degree of like around the campfire by any means. It's like maybe if you took 1% of around the campfire and put it in here. And then that apple kind of like gets less bright and juicy because on cold, it seems a little bit brighter. Um, it stays fairly bright. Um, on warm, but it is very much a sweet apple and not quite as like tart as it is in here. So it's just a very sweet, fresh apple um, with that marshmallow, like very much on the marshmallow. And it's a really nice marshmallow note. I really like this. It's really good. It's hard to explain and it doesn't sound like it would be good. It sounds like it would be weird. And it kind of is, <laughs> but it's really good. I love this. And a good performer. It was strong. I just did four cubes in the open layout and two warmers. It's still going and it's end of day two and it's fine. I was debating changing the wax tonight and I was like, no, I can still smell these pretty strongly when I stand even within eight feet of them. So no, I'm not gonna change the wax, but delicious. I have a couple more bars of this. If it comes back, I will probably put it in my club. It is really good. 
So that is what I've warmed in my house this week. What have you warmed this week? Um, and have you warmed painted leaves? It's good. Let me know what you think of this one because it's so unique. It's really, really beautiful. So there's that. So I do have bricks coming, hopefully tomorrow, knock on wood. Um, so I will let you know my first thoughts on those and I'll get to warming those too here right away while the weather is still snowy. <laughs> so thanks for tuning in. Talk to you guys later. Thanks. Bye.